Joining me now, Mark Thiessen, a Fox News contributor and also a fellow at AEI, and Richard Fowler, Fowler a nationally syndicated radio host. Uh, Mark, let me start with you. So Mayor Barrett apparently thinks it's Governor Scott Walker's fault that this shooting incident took place. Yeah, it's amazing, and it's just for the, for him to politicize that is just shameful. But you know, let's put let's put things in perspective. Mayor Barrett has been the mayor of Milwaukee County for 11 years. On his watch, that Milwaukee, Milwaukee, the city of Milwaukee represents 10 percent of the state's population, two thirds of the gun homicides in the state. On his watch, it has risen to seventh most dangerous city in the country. It's got and and this is this is nothing to do with Scott Walker's policies. These are bad policing policies, bad policies by the mayor. It's not happening anywhere else in Wisconsin. Why doesn't he take responsibility for it? Richard, what is he talking about? What? How do you get from you know a, a two-year-old gets run over, the guy who did it acts accidentally gets out to try to attend to the child he gets shot and killed and the mayor jumps to we need tighter we don't know whether this was an illegally held gun we don't know anything but here's the thing megan in trace's story i think he's something very telling all the sh all the shootings that happened in milwaukee were people who didn't have concealed carry permits meaning these guns were garnered illegally through star purchasers or so have you that means we need to make sure we have those folks shouldn't have the guns mayor's whatsoever criticizing concealed carry that's what his point was the yeah, mayor's but, but even in, concealed but, carry but even, and none even of the people if, doing the murdering are the ones who have the concealed carry permits. exactly that's the point they shouldn't have guns whatsoever we all believe in our constitution we all believe in the Second Amendment, and we all believe that folks, bad guys, shouldn't have guns, meaning governors like Scott Walker should pass laws to make sure that bad guys don't have guns, i.e. background already, checks. But isn't the point, Mark, that laws are already passed? The people who are following them, we don't need to fear, apparently, according to the stats, and the people who are not are, are going to do what they want either way. Yeah, the reason we need concealed carry and castle doctrine, which are the two gun laws that Scott Walker passed, is because of the policies of Mayor Barrett in Milwaukee that have made it the gun capital of the state of Wisconsin. Look, Mayor Barrett's policy, let me give you an example. He has been laying off or furloughing police officers. 11,600 man days of furloughed police officers in the seventh most dangerous city in the country. And Governor ask Walker, why one thing he that is. one, hold on. Governor Walker passed collective bargaining reform that saved the city of Milwaukee. Milwaukee alone, $25 million. You think he could have spent a little bit of that on policing? That would have helped well, uh, deal with gun violence the, in Milwaukee. Here's the thing. The gov Governor Scott Walker should be concerned about safety throughout his state, whether it be in Milwaukee or whether it be in Madison, Wisconsin, which means he should be doing everything in his power to fund police officers, to fund firefighters, to fund nurses. When he passes tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires and misprioritizes that money, but that money is not policy. going to funding he police saved. officers. He but tax that's policy did it. But that's neither here nor there, Megan. I think the argument that we're trying to have here is about concealed carry. Concealed Richard, carry isn't the problem. The problem is, is that guns are in the wrong murder, hands of the wrong people. The fact the, is, this gun was illegally obtained, and the fact that it was legally obtained means we do everything in our power to limit those guns from getting in those individuals' hands. It means more gun safety laws to make sure good guys have guns, bad guys don't have guns. I'll it's give you the very last simple. Word, Mark. The, I mean, 200,000 people have applied for permits under the concealed carry uh, law that Scott Walker passed. Stop strong one, purchasing. One, one homicide. More background one checks. One homicide. One homicide. More background the, checks. We need Bad them. guys shouldn't we have need, guns, Mark. I don't know you why have to agree with that. carry and castle drop. What is your evidence, ourselves. Richard, that a, a background check would have changed the outcome in this case? If there were, no, the beyond background checks. It's straw, it's, straw, no it's straw purchasing. No, it's straw purchasing. It's straw purchasing. You have none. It's a mayor politicizing a murder. No, there is tons of evidence that proves the fact that these guns got in the wrong hands because they did not go through a background check because they, the guns were not generically. illegally obtained. We don't know about attained. this case. This when is you, a mayor trying to exploit a murder. When they're not legally obtained, thus you should have background to checks. To be continued tomorrow. Great to see you both.